This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. To find out how you can help kickstart our latest show live from Bay 6, visit our website and click on the Kickstarter icon. Hi, I'm Cindy Harris. It's winter time here. Let's see what we can do with those fruits and vegetables we find at the Farmer's Market. Welcome to the Farmer's Market Gourmet. You know, when there aren't a lot of fruits available at the farmer's market, you can always count on this warm fruit compote because the vendors always have dried fruits from the previous season. So there's all kinds of apples and pears and cherries and apricots and peaches to choose from. At the farmer's market today, I was able to find some really interesting dried fruits from summer. So I was able to find some peaches, some apricots, some cherries, and some of these golden raisins. Now I need to measure out about three cups of our dried fruit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of these apricots and put them in, and the cherries, and the raisins. But I'm finding that these peach slices are a little bit too big, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm just gonna cut these in half the large ones. Sometimes you'll find pieces of all different sizes, like this size, this is fine. These are fine. And so as you see here, that ends up being about three cups of dried fruit. And you can use any amount of any fruit that you would like. Now I've got a medium sized saucepan, so I'm just gonna take all that dried fruit and put it right in there. Now this has a lot of sweetness in them because you know when fruits dry, the sugars concentrate. But I am gonna add just a little something else. And that is gonna be a quarter of a cup of some brown sugar. You know, brown sugar has molasses in it, that's what makes it brown, so it adds a different element to the sweetness. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Now I am gonna to wanna to put some citrus in, and I'm gonna be using orange. And I want the juice and some zest, but I'm gonna first start with the zest. Now I'm not gonna microplane the zest, I'm gonna use my vegetable peeler, and I'm gonna take off three really big strips of orange zest, just like this, and then I'll put this right in the pot. Now, because uh, dried fruit has had all of the liquid evaporated out of it, we need to go ahead and rehydrate this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the juice of four oranges. Now, sometimes in compote, they just use water, but water doesn't add any flavor to this, so that's why I'm gonna use fresh orange juice. And during the winter time, oranges are usually really plentiful at the farmer's market. And now I'm gonna pour my juice right on in. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stove. Now I've got this on the stove on a medium heat. I've got the lid on top, and I'm gonna let this come to a simmer. And it takes about 20 minutes to cook, but do check on it every now and then. Give it a little stir. Now it's been a couple of minutes. You can see it's starting to simmer pretty vigorously. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down to about a medium low. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little stir. And the fruits are starting to plump up. You can really smell the orange. It smells really, really good. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. Again, it's turned down to about a medium low. I'm gonna let that cook the rest of its time. At this point, another 12 minutes. Well, it's been 20 minutes. And oh my gosh, our fruits have just plumped up beautifully in the pan. And there's still a little bit of uh, juice in here, so that worked out perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off, and then I'm gonna add just one teaspoon of vanilla. That's just gonna add a little something to this compote. I'm gonna stir that around, and then I'm just gonna let everything sit right here in the pan. I'm just gonna remove it 
off the heat and I'm just going to let it continue to cool and while it's cooling the steam that's still being generated is going to continue to plump and soften all that great fruit. Well this warm fruit compote is fantastic on waffles or with a scoop of ice cream or on a little pound cake or even just with a little shortbread cookie. Now if you'd like to get the recipe just go to our website and visit the Farmer's Market Gourmet show notes. I'll have the recipe there for you. And as always if you have any questions please feel free to send me an email. I'll see you next time.